Hi guys, my name is Nikki, aka the Dragon Queen, and I am here today with my December wrap-up. I've read a total of nine books this month, which is a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, I have three physical books. I read one, two, three ebooks and three audiobooks. So the first book I started with, which I've already left a review for, is the Persistence of Memory by David Mack. I will link the review down below. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a five out of five stars. I've already bought book two and three in the series, so I can't wait to dive into those. And I am just overall excited about continuing on with Data's life. The second book I finished was Finders Keepers by Stephen King on audiobook. This is book two of the Bill Hodges series. Um, I didn't expect the ending. So the way that the series works and the way this, this is my first Stephen King series I've read. So Stephen King seems to be very good at combining worlds without making the main character of each book the same. So it's the Bill Hodges series and he's who is the same between the two series, but that's not how the main character finds out about what happened before, if that makes sense. So in book one, Mr. Mercedes. In Mr. Mercedes, the main character, Bill Hodges, had a boy who mowed his lawn. His sister is friends with the sister of the main character of book two. So that's how they coincide. Um, one thing I did enjoy was I did enjoy the ending. I enjoyed how it was a twist. I enjoyed how it opened so many potential doors for book three that I'm excited to learn about. Um, I do think I will continue to read the audiobook or listen to the audiobook instead of reading the book, mostly because I've done audio for the first two, so I might as well continue with the audiobook and I find it easier to read or to finish that way. Now, one thing I didn't like was it's very, it's very long, not like, I don't know how to explain it. Stephen King tends to drone on sometimes, kind of like I'm doing right now, and that's one thing I've never really liked about him, but I do enjoy the thriller series, and I was interested enough in the plot twist and the ending to figure out what was going on. There were some predictable bits in it, that part I didn't like, but I mean, how many books can you write really and there not be predictability? So book three that I read is one that most of you will be happy about. That is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. Um, I bought this book a while ago and I just never picked it up because I was worried that I wouldn't like it, that it followed the booktube hype that some other series have fallen for me. So I finally gave it a shot and while it wasn't as amazing and like entrenched I didn't become as entrenched in it as I did with the Lunar Chronicle series, which was also hyped on booktube, um, but it was very good. I do enjoy the characters. I enjoy how each character has their own strength and their own weakness. I enjoy how they play off of each other's strengths and weaknesses to help encourage each other and to become stronger. I enjoy that the, the um, psychics aren't cheap feeling they're like they've come off as real and there's things that they figure out that can't it's like enough of a giveaway but not enough to predict what's going to happen so it has enough of an interest for me to continue the series and I do plan on continuing with the Raven Boys series. Book four I read is on, I listened to on audiobook that is You Are a Badass. Um, this audiobook I think I gave a three out of five stars. Um, it was really interesting and there was a lot of parts that made me laugh and made me think that they were talking directly at me but there was some parts of it that focused on energy that I didn't really feel. I didn't 
I didn't agree with them, so it kind of took me out of the nonfiction world and the motivation, but I completely understand where they're coming from, so it made sense. I just wasn't like, oh yeah, that make, that I get it, that bam, I understand. So it was, I do recommend it, especially if you believe in energies like negative and positive energy flows and vibes and stuff like that. Um, I did think it was funny, especially with some of the cursing involved, which was amusing and kept me entertained. And some of it was like, me? Are you, are you talking to me? Are you, are you talking to me? Okay. But I do recommend it, especially, I don't know if I would recommend it if you're religious. I mean, it might work. Because if you just replace energies with God, it would kind of work, maybe. Anyway, so book five I read was, or listened to on audiobook, was The Tunny, The Tunny, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Um, this was a very short listen, it was only four hours, and I listened to it in like 1.5 speed because he talks, um, it was not super exciting but it was I did give it a four out of five stars I believe he makes some very good points I knew most of the Dave Ramsey following points already from the internet I plan on following it next year starting in the new year especially with um, bringing in a kid in the family with through adoption we want to get our money and everything under control but I do recommend listening to it. You can listen to it for free on YouTube, I found out, but I already had purchased the book, so I listened to it on audio. The sixth book I read, the next three were ebooks and they were all short stories. The first one was The Initiation Hell House by J. Michael Wright II. Um, J. Michael Wright II has also written a short story for my publishing company, The Dragon's Rocket Ship Publishing, and that was Where Old Acquaintances Be Forgot. That was a super creepy book. This book followed through with the creepy, the horror-esque vibes. It was a very short read, less than 30 minutes on Kindle, um, but I do highly recommend it. Um, it was free. I don't think it's free anymore, but it's been getting five stars. I gave it five stars. I enjoy the concept. I enjoy the main female character. Um, I enjoy that most of his stories are based off real historical homes in Alabama. So that's really interesting to read about the homes and the places that he is writing about. So Where Old Acquaintances Be Forgot is focused on the Bryce Mental Asylum, which is a real place, and the initiation is focused on the Hell House, where people have been murdered multiple times, and this girl is going as her initiation to join this paranormal club. So I do highly recommend it. It's very inexpensive on Kindle. I will leave the link down below. The next book I read was also a short story, and that was Storied Lives by M.A. Ray. This is a short story based in Rothinger, I believe is how you pronounce it. M.A. Um, Ray has written some amazing novels following a main character named Dingus. Um, this book follows Dingus's grandfather, Eagle Eye. Now, this is much later in his life, um, after the novel um the will of the high king i believe it's called um but this one was very good it was very entertaining i enjoyed learning about eagle eye and if you haven't read rothinger yet any of the worlds there and the stories there i highly recommend picking up one of her short short stories for a very very inexpensive price and seeing if you like her writing style which i believe you will and see if you like the world if you do Go Get Hard Luck. Um, that is the first book in the Memorial series, and then The Will of the High King. I'll, I'll leave it all below. Um, that's the first book in the Eagle Eye and Fox series. The next short story I read is The Thread of Life, A Tale of Rothinger, which is also by M.A. Ray. This one follows Eagle Eye's wife before she became his wife, and that is Rose. So it was a very interesting, it was very nice to see 
her personality and how she became who she was or is in the books that I've seen her in later. So I do recommend reading this if you, again, if you enjoy it, then pick up the novels that follow the same world and other main characters in the world. There are so many good characters in this world. I highly recommend it. The last book I read, I read last night out loud to my husband and was laughing hysterically. This was a birthday gift from my friend and that is I Could Pee on This and Other Cat, Other Poems by Cats by Franco, Francesco Marcellino. Now, <laughs> Greg got me this because I have three cats and they like to pee on all the things and it drives me absolutely crazy. So yeah, and I read these and I gave this a, I think, four star. It might have been three. Um, if it wasn't three, I'm going to change it to three. It is a very good read. They're, they're just poems like this one. I lick your nose. I lick your nose again. I drag my claws down your eyelids. Oh, you're up. Feed me. So the ones like that made me laugh out loud because it, I, I literally was laughing because it reminded me of my cats, Pixel, Bite, and Miko. So this one particularly reminded me of Pixel, because when he's hungry, he's all up in your face. Another one where they knock stuff off the table, that was also Pixel. The peeing one, that was Miko. The kneading one, that was Bite. So each, some of them had like personal um, relations to my cats that I've had for two of them for seven years and one for one year. So that amused me. Some of them were, what the hell were you thinking? Like, what is this? Um, like, one was just meowing, and I'm just like, oh, okay, what what's going on? Um, one was, oh, uh, one was about being taken to the vet and getting your, uh, manly parts removed, so yeah. But yeah, I do recommend this book if you have somebody who likes cats, um, it's definitely worth the read. So those are all the books that I read in December. It wasn't as great as a month as I was hoping since most of them were short stories. However, I have successfully completed my Goodreads 50 book goal. I've actually read 59 books this year. I will do a video on that later, but I'm excited. Um, I read 59 books, but Goodreads said I had read less than 50 because I've been reading books for publishing companies before they've been published or for my publishing company before they've been published. So officially I've read 59 books and officially according to Goodreads thanks to these three short stories I read I've hit 50 and that was my goal. But anyway that's all I have for you today. If you like it please like it, leave me a comment down below and let me know what book your you read this month or what books you've read this month. And I will see you soon with my TBR video. This is the Dragon Queen, signing off.